Hi everyone, I'm Four Corners, and whether you're a parent of a young Ninjago fan or a fan of the theme yourself, you've come to the right place if you're on a budget to collect some Ninjago sets. LEGO can be expensive, however, it doesn't always have to be to get some good value out. So today I put together a list of the worst to best Ninjago sets under $30 in the market right now. I will say the $40 to $50 area is Ninjago's golden spot in terms of value, so if you are willing to pay a little bit more, I would definitely go for some of the options there. Number 12, Kai's Fire Dragon Evo. This set packs a lot of play with its level up and rebuild function, offering 3 modes to showcase the Fire Dragon getting more powerful, plus 2 aerial villains to battle with, but for even a slightly older audience, maybe 7 or 8 years old, it might be tough to get past the less than average look, making it very narrow in terms of the demographic this set will appeal. Number 11, we have Jay's Thunder Dragon Evo. This dragon is almost identical to the previous in terms of play value with the same level up, building feature, and still one flying villain included, but comes at a price of $10 less for almost a similar experience. So if you're debating between these two, I would definitely go for Jay's Thunder Dragon Evo. Number 10 from the Seabound storyline, we have Lloyd's Hydra Mech. The size and weight will impress you compared to how small it looks on the box, so value is no question. What takes this set down is the poor structural integrity. One light shake and the sword falls off thanks to weak attachments, so there's no way you're fighting with this thing. The legs also follow a similar pattern, ends up being very weak with parts that fall off easily. Plus the fact that this big mech only has one villain figure with no side build to battle doesn't add any fun either. So I cannot recommend this at all for play. I mean, personally with my copy of Lloyd's Hydra mech, I even tried to super glue the sword arm down and it's still so weak. Number 9, Lloyd's Racing Car Evo. This is one of the better sets from LEGO's attempt to recruit the younger audience into the theme. Its aesthetic isn't half bad for a set that offers the level up building system to upgrade the car as you go. The additional go-kart and two snake warriors just put the icing on the cake here for play. Plus it is seen in the most recent Ninjago Crystallized TV series, adding to its relevance. Number 8 gets a little smaller with the Spinjitsu training sets. These include a spinner and some smaller belts to knock over or dodge. These are awesome for any fan who wants to recreate the concept of Spinjitsu in real life. With Ripcord integration, these invite more potential and power than ever before. These aren't the best spinners they've ever made, but they're pretty good. Number 7, to coincide with the Ninjago Crystallized storyline, we have Jay's Gold Dragon Motorbike. It offers a taste of everything important without a big price tag on it. Jay himself exclusively comes in his gold dragon form and wields the Nunchucks of Lightning, so that's a big plus. To battle, you have a spider droid and a very excitingly designed Benchstone Brute. This will also definitely start appealing to an older audience with better aesthetics than some of the other entries we just went through. Number 6, the Overlord Dragon. If you're a Ninjago fan just starting out, this is a perfect buy as the Legacy line remakes sets from old seasons. This one especially is very significant as it's recreating the iconic battle between Golden Lloyd and the Overlord Dragon. For the price, it offers some great size and a great buy for anyone of all ages. Number 5, we have another Legacy set being Lloyd's Jungle Raider. For $10, you get an iconic car with suspension and a Legacy Lloyd minifigure. It's fun and not the worst in terms of looks either. Number 4, following the Jungle and Lloyd theme, we have Lloyd's Jungle Chopper Bike. Depending on when you're watching this video, the set might be retired and you might find it on discount or a major price hike, just depends on what time you're seeing this. Nonetheless, this set offers three minifigures, two of which are really cool variants of the Ninja, and also a bike with suspension and detaching glider. The only reason it's in the number 4 spot is it would be nice to get something for the villain to roll on, as he's going to have a hard time chasing all this high speed on foot. Number 3 is the Tournament of Elements. This one especially is a fan favorite legacy set as it includes 3 iconic elemental masters, a golden Lloyd to celebrate the 10th anniversary, and a spinner to go along with all that. And with a fun arena with plenty of features, this is definitely one for the collectors and players. Number 2, again from the crystallized line, we have Zane's Gold Dragon Jet. This set is amazing in play value with a flying exclusive Skull Sorcerer to fight against Zane and Gold Dragon Cole, all either exclusive or special minifigures here. Plus the jet has a really cool transforming feature as the wings pop out to have a more battle form look. This offers a lot of fun and a lot of collecting value and a lot of relevance being based off the most recent season of Ninjago. Finally for number 1, we have another Zane vehicle, it's Zane's Evo Mech. 
For the price of $10, you get a cool looking mech that has the upgrade building system, as well as Zane to battle a snake warrior. Can you really ask for more? The set has a chance to turn off collectors, but it's probably the best gift option for any young fan on shelves right now. And that wraps up this buyer's guide if you're on a budget. Personally, my list would be so different because this list was based on which sets are more fun and more valuable. But if I was to change it, and I'm pretty sure a lot of viewers, if you guys were to change it, things would be a lot different. Zane's Evo Mech would not be on top. But thank you for watching. Comment down below which set you want the most. Personally, I really want the Tournament of Elements set. That set is so cool, and hopefully I can get it before it retires. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.